Today, we will be diving into the ruthless denial of service attack method, known as SSDP. A simple service discovery protocol SSDP is a type of distributed denial of service attack that leverages the SSDP, which is a network protocol used for discovering and managing devices on a local network. This attack is designed to overwhelm a target server or network with a massive volume of SSDP requests. Attackers send SSDP requests to a large number of devices on the internet, often using botnets. They typically use source IP address spoofing to hide their identity. The SSDP requests are designed to elicit responses from the target server, making it send larger responses than the initial requests. This amplification factor can be significant, causing a flood of traffic to the target, leading to network congestion and service disruption. Under normal circumstances, the SSDP protocol is used to allow UPnP devices to broadcast their existence to other devices on the network. For example, when a UPnP printer is connected to a typical network, after it receives an IP address, the printer is able to advertise its services to computers on the network. The multicast address then tells all the computers on the network about the new printer. Once a computer hears the discovery message about the printer, it makes a request to the printer for a complete description of its services. The printer then responds directly to that computer with a complete list of everything it has to offer. An SSDP attack exploits that final request for services by asking the device to respond to the targeted victim. This amplification factor can be significant, causing a flood of traffic to the target leading to network congestion and service disruption. What do you do when you are being attacked with such an attack? 99.9% .9 of the time, the attacker is using a website-based panel. This means they more than likely use the direct URL of your app or website versus having to scavenger hunt for the backend IP address. To protect yourself and mitigate this type of attack will require a few things. The network administrator will have to implement filtering rules at the network perimeter to block incoming SSDP traffic from the internet. Rate limit SSDP traffic to prevent excessive requests from a single source. You will need a way to verify the source IP address of incoming SSDP packets. Discard any packets with spoofed or invalid source addresses. A key mitigation is to block incoming UDP traffic on port 1900 at the firewall. You might also consider using Content Delivery Network CDN services that can absorb DDoS traffic and mitigate attacks before they reach your network. If your network does not rely on EPMP, consider disabling it on your routers and devices to prevent attackers from exploiting SSDP vulnerabilities. Ensure that all network devices and servers are up to date with the latest security patches to minimize vulnerabilities that attackers can exploit. Continuously monitor network traffic for anomalies and unusual patterns that could indicate an ongoing or impending attack. Preventing SSDP denial of service attacks requires a combination of network configuration, traffic monitoring, and security measures. By implementing these measures and staying vigilant, organizations can reduce the risk of falling victim to such attacks and ensure the availability of their online services. Thank you for taking the time to dig into one of the most notorious denial of service attack method SSDP and the best way to protect yourself from it. We hope this video helps you bring better security to your platform. Don't forget to drop a like on this video and leave a comment. Your feedback is appreciated.